Have you ever wanted to draw a beautiful girl but didn't know where to start? We've all been there, feeling the desire to capture the essence of beauty on paper, yet feeling stuck at the daunting complexity of the human figure. But here's the good news. Drawing, like any other skill, can be broken down into manageable steps. It's not about perfection, but progress. It's about the journey of seeing, understanding, and translating what we see onto paper. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear roadmap to drawing a girl. First things first, gather your tools. Essential to any artist's toolkit are pencils, erasers, and paper. Pencils, with their varying hardness, help you sketch lightly or darken lines. Erasers play their part in correcting mistakes and creating highlights. Quality paper is crucial as it greatly affects the outcome of your artwork. Optional items like a ruler can assist in maintaining proportions and a sketchbook, well, it's your canvas. Each tool has its own role in the drawing process. With these tools, you are ready to embark on your drawing journey. Start by sketching the basic shape of the girl. Imagine her form as a collection of simple shapes. It's like piecing together a puzzle, but the pieces are circles, rectangles, and lines. Let's start with a circle for the head. Now, add an oval beneath it for the body. Don't forget rectangles for the arms and legs. Sketch lightly, these are just building blocks. Now, on to proportions. The head is a good reference point. Typically, the body is about seven to eight heads tall. Use this as your guide. Draw lines to mark the top and bottom of the body and divide it into equal spaces for the head, torso, and legs. Next, give her a line of action. A simple line that represents her pose. Is she standing straight or is she running? This will guide the placement of her limbs. Remember, these shapes are just guides. Don't worry about making them perfect. Once the basic shape is in place, you can start adding details to the face. Begin with the eyes, the windows to the soul. Remember to keep them symmetrical and in proportion to the rest of the face. They should be placed roughly halfway down the head with about an eye's width between them. Next, let's move on to the nose. It's typically positioned halfway between the eyes and the chin. Keep it simple and subtle. A couple of lines or dots can often do the trick. Now, for the mouth, it should be positioned halfway between the nose and the chin. Again, keep it simple. A line for the lips and a gentle curve for the smile should suffice. Above all, remember that these are just guidelines. Every face is unique and your drawing should reflect that. Experiment, play around with different shapes and proportions and find what works for you. As you add details, the girl's face will start to come to life. Now that the face is complete, it's time to detail the body and hair. Bring your sketched figure to life with careful detailing. Start with the hair, a defining feature of your character. Consider the direction of hair flow. Is it a windy day or is her hair neatly combed? Each strand you draw should follow this chosen direction, creating a sense of movement and realism. Now, let's move on to the body. Pay attention to the clothes folds. Are they soft and flowing or stiff and structured? This helps to convey the fabric type and the movement of the body underneath. Remember, shadows and highlights play a crucial role in detailing. They add depth and dimension, making your drawing more lifelike. Darken the areas where shadows fall and leave the areas where light hits brighter. With the body and hair detailed, your drawing of a girl is complete. You've breathed life into your creation, and that's something to be proud of. Before we finish, let's add some final touches to your drawing. These little details can really bring your creation to life. Let's start with shading. Shading creates depth and dimension, helping your drawing feel more realistic. Use a softer touch for lighter shades and press harder for darker ones. Next, let's talk about highlighting. Highlights act as the light source in your drawing. Identify where the light hits your subject and add these bright spots to your drawing. Remember, less is more when it comes to highlights. Now let's take a stroll down memory lane and recap. We began with the desire to draw and gathered our tools. We then sketched the basic shape, added details to the face, and fleshed out the body and hair. And finally, we just added our finishing touches with shading and highlights. Congratulations! You've successfully drawn a girl. Keep practicing, and soon drawing will become second nature to you.